Hey guys, we're out here in Fort Worth. I'm attending the DFW Auto Show. I'm actually on 200 West 7th Street on the corner of 7th and Houston. I'm at this meter here trying to pay it and of course it is not accepting it because it says hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. So, looks like free parking today. I think it says a big Texas welcome and like this big Texas star right here with a lot of cowboy hats. Going down, we see DFW Auto Show in Fort Worth. All the welcome signs right here. All the test drive signs and all the manufacturers listed over there. And I signed up for the media credential. They gave me this nice, oops, 2018 DFW Auto Show pin, which will get me into the show. Sweet. Okay, so here's the guide for the DFW Auto Show in Fort Worth. The tickets are $11 a piece, but given I'm in on a media pass, I got in for free. And free parking, so that's really sweet for the deal. Looking up here, this is the whole showroom right here. You got Mercedes-Benz, Lexus, Infiniti, Lincoln, Mazda, Buick, GMC, and Chevrolet on this side. Right in front, we got Audi. In the back, we got the uh, Fiat Chrysler Automotive, the Toyota booth over there, Acura, Ford, Hyundai, Kia, and Nissan. So it is a smaller auto show. We're not looking like anything big an actual Dallas Auto Show or even LA or New York. It's just something where if you're looking for a car and you happen to catch one of the manufacturers here, it's a good place to go. is so empty compared to LA. This is Sunday. This is the Mercedes side. And typically you'd see so many people crowding around so many cars. But here, I could literally just walk up to the SL550 and then just uh, ease my way into here. Yep, nobody around, nobody waiting for me. It's pretty nice actually. We got the S550 on this side, looking pretty fly as always. Well, S560 going for 100k. The GL, the GLC43, the red G Wagon over there, the S560, E300, GLC43, and the GLE400 over here, the GLC300. CLS 430 and SL 45. They've got the LS 500, which you can walk in. IS, NX, LX, UX, LS, ES, GX, RC, RX. Pretty much the whole lineup is here, and that's pretty cool to see. Also, the fact that they let you into their wonderful LC 500 coupe over there. Infinity side, they've brought their QX lineup from the 30 all the way up to the 80. And they've got their Q series as well, including the Q50, the Q60, the Q70. Yeah, pretty much all of them are here. Here's the Mazda side, including the Mazda 3, the hatchback. Mazda 5, MX-5, CX-5, CX-9, etc. Buick are here, including the LaCrosse and the Regal. There's the Enclave SUV as well. BMWs, they've brought their lineup as well as the 850i over here. Look at that. Sleek, long, and beautiful. I'm surprised that they call it the M850i instead of like the M8. But what can I say about it? looks fantastic. The nice interior choices as well. The texture going down the seat looks phenomenal. Got the heads up display and everything. Here's the front with the new kidney grill type design. I like that matte looking finish they've got going on. And here's the engine as well. Right next to that, they've got all the Porsches right there from McCann, Cayenne, Panamera, 911, Boxster. Just a handful of Volkswagens over here. Then we got the Land Rovers on this side. Yep, everything you're able to just open up and sit in, which is pretty cool to see. We got the Volvos here too. And we have the Jaguars. Here's the FCA section with all the Fiats and Chryslers and Dodges all over here. Here's the Chevy lineup, including the Cruises, 
Impala's tracks, Sonic, Malibu, Colorado, Silverado, Camaro, Bolt EV, Corvette. Yep. It's nice to see that everything's open as well. You can see people enjoying the Corvette. And of course, there's no lines here. That is nice. Here are the handful of Jeeps as well as the Ram trucks. All down this way. A lot of trucks because this is Texas. The big Texas trucks. Bam, look at that. Beautiful Dodge Ram. Face off here with the vans and the Silverados, Suburbans. And of course, Toyotas on that side showing off their trucks as well, like the Tundras, Tacomas. It's pretty much all the trucks Toyota has. Then we got the Fords on this side, bringing out all their trucks as well. F-350, F-250, F-150, Expedition, all of that is here. And of course, given that Ford has slimmed down their lineup, we only see Mustang and Fiesta all the way over there at the end. Here we go again with the Mustangs. This particular one is the G3. Here we go with the Mustangs again. We got the Shelby GT350 over here, looking fantastic. Ooh, look at that, GT350. V8 with a base price of $56,000. Beautiful car. $61,000 MSRP on this one. The whole Honda lineup here as well. Odyssey, Ridgeline, Civic, and all that. And we have Subarus over here as well. We've got the BRZ, WRX, Legacy, Impreza, even the Ascent SUV is over there too the Nissans which I must say this Nissan side looks particularly empty compared to the rest of the auto show not very many people looking at these Nissans compared to other mates more Subarus over here and of course we got the Toyota lineup including the stunning looking Corolla hatchback over here got the Camry's Avalon's as well TRD 4Runner got out their whole lineup as well including the new Forte right over there we got the Kia Stinger, which I was able to drive earlier this year. Absolutely phenomenal. I don't see... Oh wait, they have the Optima here as well. That's cool. Over there, they got the nice new Veloster. That looks pretty fancy. Sporty. Here's the older Santa Fe. They even got the newer Santa Fe as well. Elantra's here, Tucson is here, Sonata is here. They don't have Genesis and that's pretty odd. Here's the whole Acura lineup. There's a whole lot of SUVs and not so many cars. They're probably catering it to this being the Texas Fort Worth market. So they probably, yeah, it looks like they just brought up all their MDXs of different trim lines and they only have one TL in the back. We got Chevy over here, we got the Trevors. Equinox, Silverado. The Audi side, they brought the sporty new Q8, which is going for $82,000, rivaling the Range Rover. It is bigger than I thought. Uh, the Q7 over there, A4s, A7s, A8s. Which the A8 new design looks significantly better than the old one. I must say that. They brought out the R8, of course. The V10 engine looking absolutely nice. Very nice. After market area, they've got this legendary Bugatti Veyron from the collection of Ron Sturge in Fort Worth. Can't believe someone out here has a Bugatti and decided to show it here. But that is absolutely awesome. Thank you very much for showing it here as well as showing off the car storage and those little signs below. Yeah. What, picture, what picture would you have there? The Mustang Club right here as well as the Corvette Club and wow some of these people have some really insane cars with some really insane mods going on with them.
Wow. Test drives, we got the Chevy lineup here, including the Trail Boss, the High Country, and even there's a Camaro, but it's not here. Oh, we're back at Mercedes Benz, looking at their whole lineup on that side. Yeah, this is pretty much it. So that is the DFW Auto Show in Fort Worth. This is a place to go if you don't want too many people crowding around the cars that you absolutely love. Let's take a look at that. Not too many people, very open. If you want something with concepts or something like that, you gotta go to Dallas Auto Show, LA, New York. Bigger auto shows will have that for you. But this is, yeah, this is the DFW Auto Show where people are not crowding around luxury cars and that's nice.